In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the proof of the Pythagoras Theorem. Just a quick reminder, the Pythagoras Theorem, you have a little triangle like this. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. That's Pythagoras Theorem. So I'm going to start with this. We're going to come back to this as well. Imagine you have three squares. A orange square, that's three by three. And if you added up all the squares, you'd have nine squares nine orange squares. The second big square is a green square, of course, and it's four by four. And in this case, you have 16 green squares. Finally, we have a five by five, five columns and five rows. And in this case, you would have 25 blue squares. Now, if I take these squares and I move them kind of together and realign them, and I'm going to form a, a triangle between all three squares like that. Let me outline the uh, triangle so you can see it. And let me shade those out just a tad. There you go. The triangle is three squares high, four squares long, and the hypotenuse is five squares. And that's just the length of the side of these uh, squares before. The area of the orange square is 9, the area of the green square is 16, and the area of the blue square is 25. 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. Remember it's 3 by 4, hypotenuse is 5. Let me move the 3 down right there. 3 squared is 9, and 4 squared. 16 and 5 squared is 25 and there you have it now I have a squared plus B squared is equal to C squared that's what we started with and the a is the height of the triangle B is the length and C is the hypotenuse now we're back to the beginning, and I can fade all that out. Let me move that other equation up so you can see it right there. And this was the proof of the Pythagoras Theorem. Actually, there's a lot of proofs. This is just one of them.